What up, Doe Connors? There is a maintenance and an update coming to Global in just a couple of days. At the end of the month, Wednesday, February 28th. Oh, you know what? Excuse me. No, we have one more day. This is a leap year, so this is actually not the final day of the month, but Wednesday, February 28th at 6 p.m. Pacific, which is two hours after Global's daily reset. For seven hours, we will be down for maintenance in the server and in the shop. And after we come out of it, we should be getting update 5.17.1. This is the infamous power level update. For most of you, this may not matter, but for those of you who are interested, this basically is a great new incentive that they're going to be adding to the game that makes you want to actually power level because you will get some really great rewards for it. Not only do they give you the, you know, a, a chunk of stones once a month based on your, your level in the pixel character stuff, but this now increases your resource drop in general moving forward based on your power level. Power level now actually serves a purpose. Up until now, it was nothing more than bragging rights. So this is a step in the right direction to increase engagement in the game. So I do think that this is good for the game. However, the way that they have gone about implementing this, I don't think is good enough just yet because it is still very much link level focused. So let's just go over what this is. Let's talk about how this dropped on JP. We'll talk about a few other things that are coming up on Global, which is not much. So update 5.17.1 will be released soon. Here's a sneak peek at one of the new features. Implementation of power level bonuses based on your power level, various bonuses including those that increase the drop rates of rewards and those that shorten the STA restoration time will be activated. This is one of the many reasons why this is an important update and a very useful one. Stamina restoration time being reduced may not seem like much individually, but over time, this will add up. Mostly like, you know, let's say you power level, you burn up all your stamina doing the 31-4 grind. You put your phone down. You come back after two hours expecting maybe like 10 stamina to come back. Instead, you've got like 30. That's a bit of an exaggeration based on nothing mathematically here, but that's kind of the point. Like the more the more restoration time is reduced, the more it adds up, the longer you're away from the game. So this is important. Let me actually read these. I don't have all the details from the JP one. It's been a while, but let's see. So at 100,000 power level, Zenny increased by 1%. Trading items, training items increased by 1%. Support items increased by 1% in terms of their drop rate, I think. Potential orbs increased by 1%. That one is big. That one matters, especially for someone like me. I thought this was box space. Character drop rate increased by 1%. Treasure items increased by 1%. Drop rate of awakening metals increased by 1%. So with all of these at 1%, it doesn't seem like much. But as you incrementally increase your power level, this will add up and this will give you more stuff. You'll get more hit potential orbs per run, thereby giving you more ways to rainbow characters. You will get increased drop rates, making it easier to farm out certain events. People told me recently when we had that new Dragon Ball story event that the Krillin drop rate was abysmal. With this maxed out, maybe at like 50% or whatever the max drop rate is, that will help increase the consistency in which you get characters. That combined with all the characters that you bring to boost the drop rate, as well as the Oolong support memory, things like that. All of these different things will add up, making your life easier. Treasure items getting increased will increase your resource acquisition. Awakening Medals will reduce the amount of times that you have to go through an event to get Awakening Medals to awaken things. One of the things that we hate about Dokkan, collectively, I don't mind it, but a lot of people do hate it, is the fact that you have to get 77 medals plus another 35 on a new Dokkan event. Some people don't like that. With the missions, with the boosted runs, if you choose to use them, and with this, that will make the grind a little bit more manageable. So things like this do matter, and it's not even, it doesn't end right here. You gain extra runs on limited time events. We'll talk about that. In addition, along with the upcoming update, the number of points given by certain factors that determine your power level will be adjusted after the update. The adjustments in points will be automatically applied to your power level. Hit a potential node. No, Nord? Hit a potential node stays at 1%. 1 point. Link skills at max go to 1,000. That's the same. Stages cleared is 50. I don't know if that changed. I think it did. Dokkan Awakening characters, 150. I'm pretty sure these are different because it used to be... I think it, I think it was 10 and 100 i could be wrong there i do have some math that i can show you guys so i basically did a power level analysis for my power level back then when we got this update on jp so at the time my power level was at 8.72 million so i broke everything down wrote everything out here shout out evernote for being a garbage service making me try to buy their paid service i'm not doing it but you know you're garbage so hidden potential nodes didn't change link level 10 goes yeah, that doesn't change at all. So you multiply this by a thousand. So I have, mo look at that, like 8.7 million power level. I have 8.1 million essentially just from links. So that should show you how heavily skewed it is in favor of link leveling. I was hoping that that would change. 
it doesn't. Stage is completed, goes from 34,570, so it was times 10, to 172,000. So it's a pretty big change, but when compared to power leveling or link leveling, it still doesn't matter. Awakened units goes from 1,300 to 130,000 to 195,000. So in summation, 8.72 million becomes 8.92 million, which is essentially a 2.3% increase. For someone like me who is a link leveling fiend, this doesn't matter too much. But for those of you who are newer to the game, who doesn't, who don't really care about the link leveling process as much, getting stages completed, awakening characters and things like that will increase your power level and probably a lot more substantially than it would for me. So it is still worth doing, especially when you see this big jump right here. So definitely content, you know, consider still doing that for those of you who are new to the game. Now, in terms of the various increments of power levels, Halverd on Twitter, who is a calculations guy, gave us a breakdown starting from 500,000, I think all the way to 3 million. At the moment, I believe 3 million is the top tier that you can get for increased power level drops. So I don't, I don't know if that's changed since. I will try to clarify in the comments down below if I need to. I believe the tiers do go up by every 100,000. So at the base level 100,000, it is simply just plus 1% for basically everything. But starting at the 500,000 power level, Zenny acquired plus 100%, training item drop rate 50%, support item drop rate 50%, hit a potential orb drop rate plus 10%, story characters drop rate plus 10%, awakening metal drop rate plus 10, treasures plus 10, negative 10% cost on Baba shop items, Zenny shop item negative 10%. This stuff matters for me. I buy things from the Zenny shop in bulk. So this is going to be a huge difference for me. I am now at minimal Zenny all the time because I am always buying stuff from the Zenny shop and I'm barely ever grinding Extreme Z battle stages to get the Zenny to buy it back. I'm now trying to be, be a little bit more aggressive with doing that, but this is going to help mitigate the cost substantially for me. Stamina recovery time minus 10 seconds. This doesn't seem like a lot, but every stamina point costs, what, five minutes to recharge. So with 10 seconds being at 500,000, I would imagine it's going to be pretty big at what, like 3 million? Boost recovery time, negative 180 seconds. That's negative three minutes. A boost recovery is eight hours. So minus three minutes doesn't seem like a lot, but over time it will matter. Especially, you know, I wonder what happens when they cut the recovery time in half. So what happens when it drops from eight hours to four hours? Does our boosted recovery time also get cut in half? That'd be pretty busted if it didn't, but we'll see. Plus one extra attempt stages. Dokkan Punching Machine. Oh, that's huge. If you're new to the game, you still haven't beat this. You have one extra attempt. That is pretty significant. Instead of three runs, you have four. That will matter. God of Destruction event and all red zones. That is also huge. Kind of stupid that it still has to be limited, but that is still huge. Then at one million, we have Zenny acquired plus 100, 50, 50. Did any of that change? No, that's the same. Hidden potential drop rate goes from 10% to 50 Story character, Awakening Metal, Treasure drop rate all go up to 25% from 10%. Baba Shop stays at negative 10. Stamina Recovery goes to negative 20. And Boost Recovery is now tripled. So now, instead of three minutes, it is six minutes, which is dope. No, nine minutes. I don't know how to do math. Nine minutes. Extra attempt stages. So we have Dokkan Punching Bag, God of Destruction, Red Zone, Training with Roshi, B-Pan. Oh! Whis Event, Hit a Potential Orbs, Oh, that is awesome. You can run all hidden potential orbs twice per day. So this plus the hidden potential orbs increase. Oh, that is good. That is good for someone like me who is obsessed with hidden potential orbs. Thank you. This Okay, so 1 million. Everybody needs to at least go for 1 million. You have to. You have to. Because getting these, like forget all of these down here. Being able to access the training with Roshi stage twice per day. Boosted link level stage twice per day. B-Pan lets you obliterate your stamina twice per day. Twice as fast. We event extra skill orbs twice per day. Hit a potential orbs twice per day. That is really good. At 2 million, oh, to 1.5, everything goes up again. So Zenny cost, Bob Shop is reduced even more. Stamina recovery, boost recovery is now dropped by 10 minutes. 11 minutes almost. The stages, I believe, are capped. I don't think they've been, yeah, they've not added any more stages. So then for this one, it goes up even more. So let's just skip all the way to 3 million. So at 3 million power level, which I believe is the cap for right now, 25% increase for drop rates, negative 25% for cost, one minute reduced on stamina recovery time. Considering the stamina recovery time is five minutes, that is pretty big. That is a 20% drop on the stamina recovery time. So if you put the phone down 
and you pick it up after the usual amount of time away from Dokkan, you will see much more stamina in your game as opposed to what you would have had before. 3 million power level. Negative 1,200 seconds for boost recovery time and all of these. In the future, I'm sure they will add more tiers, more rewards. So it is definitely a good incentive to try to power level. Again, it does suck that they prioritize the link level 10 so much, but that is why they're also pushing out all of these extra boosted link level stages. All of those different things will help you as well as the link level keys and the link level orbs. They will all help you achieve that goal of hitting max links. The more you do, the more you benefit. So definitely pay attention to this sort of thing moving forward. A couple other reminders. Player survey is going to be ending in a couple of days. So if you guys haven't done this, feel free to do so. Even if you haven't attended the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour, that is ultimately what the survey is all about. Three stones, easy three stones. The survey doesn't even take that long. This is not one of those times where you can talk about improving Dokkan as a whole. This is more so about the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour experience. So it's a very short and easy survey. In terms of the Rosé celebration, there's not much left other than the Extreme Super Battle Royale, which is dropping tonight. I am recording and posting this video on the 25th of February. I was going to say December. This is going to be dropping tonight. So I will drop this video either tonight or tomorrow. And I think this is stage 49. So we're almost done with this set, which means we're almost done with Extreme Z Awakening, the LR Trunks, which is the final free-to-play unit from the Super Battle Road series, which is kind of a bummer. In terms of the Ribrian celebration, this, in terms of content, is over. Like, there's nothing else that we get from this. I don't know what's going to happen after this, but I do know that the celebration is going to be ending the day of the maintenance ending. The 29th of February, which is a leap day, at 3.59 p.m., which is one minute before reset, that is also the same day that the maintenance ends. The, you know, late into the night of 28th, going into the 29th, that's when the maintenance is over. So maybe, possibly, we could get something around then, but keep in mind... This is one of those celebrations where we have multiple ones happening at the same time. If the Ribrian celebration ends, we will still have the Rosé one going on for a little while longer, but there are no login bonuses here. So the fact that there are no login bonuses on this celebration kind of makes this feel more like a Dragon Ball Hero celebration where it's just content, but it's the login that matters. So I think we're probably going to get something. Maybe this is when we jump into the Gohan Piccolo Dokkan Festival? It would be a couple of days before the Dokkan Festival should be coming out, but maybe they change it because we're already in uncharted waters having a global first in this little spot lodged in between two celebrations. So we could be seeing something. So that's in just a couple of days. When we hit leap day, we should probably find out what is going to be coming up next in terms of the next celebration. That will be a pre Sande Dokkan Festival, aka skip. Don't summon. There's no reason to, especially if you summon on this one with all the value that it has. We've already talked about this. This is not going to be a summon that you should be spending your stones on. Instead, it is just a means to an end, and that is saving. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the update, the power level update. Do you wish that they added more weight to other metrics? Do you think they should have just added more metrics in general? Things like, I don't know, how many LRs you have, how many TURs you have, or other things like that. How, what is your power level right now? And are you going to be increasing your power leveling process in the hopes of benefiting from these incentives? Let me know your thoughts overall about that and what is coming up next on Global in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more no content in the future and click the notification bell so that you literally know you're going to see more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again. Stay tuned and I'll remember to Dokkan responsibly.